dearly beloved, we're gathered here today in the sight of God and the face of you, this company, to join together this man, Gage Arthur Harvey, this beautiful young lady, Kayla Brooke Ball, in a holy state of matrimony. It's honorable among St. Paul, among many, not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently and discreetly in the fear of God, these two people come now to be joined. Kayla, how do I put into words what you mean to me? I tell you every single day that I love you. However, love is not a strong enough word to describe the way you make me feel. I vow to always make you laugh and strive daily to see your beautiful smile, to give you and our family the best life possible, to never forget the little things in life that mean the most. I vow to always put our family first and to never give up on us. I vow to always be the man you knew I could be. I know we've had our ups and downs throughout our relationship. It hasn't been perfect, but what relationship is? I cannot believe that our wedding day is finally here. Now let's go get married and start this beautiful life together. I love you now, forever and always, Miss Harvey. I believe with my whole heart that God has intended us to be man and wife. Gage, I adore you. You love parts of me that always seemed impossible to love. You never go a day without making me feel beautiful and with grace, you teach me so many things. I promise to never stop dating you, to always respect you, and to honor your opinion, to be honest and forgive easily, to confide in you, to learn and grow with you. I promise to love you without condition and to occasionally let you be the little spoon. I love you more than you will ever know. I'm yours, Gage Arthur, now and forever. Gage, would thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in this holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, honor her, keep her through sickness and in health, forsake all others and keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. Kayla, would thou have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in this holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, honor him, obey him, Keep him through sickness and health. Forsake all others and keep thee only unto him as long as you both shall live. I do. Ladies and gentlemen, as Gage and Kayla has pledged their troth, given their vows one to another, there's been a giving and exchange of rings by holding on to hands and joining hands. I now pronounce to you they are husband and wife. Gage is one of the most honest, kind, fearless, and greatest men that I've ever met. A great brother. And he's going to be a great husband and a great father. Congratulations, Gage and Kayla. I'm very happy for you guys. I love you all. She's always been my biggest supporter no matter what the circumstances are. She is the best concert partner, karaoke singer, and cookie maker. And you both deserve a life full of happiness. And I'm so glad you get to spend it with each other. I love you both so much. And the little bean. If I'm shaking it, it ain't because I'm nervous, it's because I ain't ate all day. <laughs> Since day one, she knew the man that Gage was capable of being. And honestly, Gage, I can say for the vast majority of us, we are so proud of the man that you've become. I would say what a great ending it has. However, this is just another closed chapter for an even more exciting one to come. I love you both so much. Mm -hmm.